There's a question from the YouTube by Jarfin. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum assalam. I can see that you wear a blazer and tie. As far as I know, this kind of clothes are from Western culture. So can it be worn? The question is that you've seen me wearing a blazer, a suit and a tie. And according to you, this is a Western culture clothes. So can you wear it? I just answered in the previous question, the six criteria for hijab. And one of the criteria is you cannot wear clothes that which resemble of the non-Muslim. So coat and tie is not a sign of any religion. Yes, the Westerners wear more. So there's no hadith saying don't wear clothes of other culture. It says don't wear clothes of other religion. So you cannot wear a cross because cross is a sign of Christianity. You can't wear a vermilion or a tikka. It's a sign of Hinduism. So you cannot wear those which are signs of other religion. But as far as culture is concerned, if that cultural cloth goes against the Sharia Conway, for example, in the Western world, many people wear shorts. But in the Islamic Sharia, I said the satar is from the navel to the knee. So wearing shorts is haram. So you cannot wear shorts in the public. It's haram. But wearing a suit and a tie, it's mubah. Many people have a misconception that tie is a sign of cross. No way in the Bible it is mentioned that tie is a sign of cross. In fact, if you read the Encyclopedia Britannica, it says that this was initially worn from Bosnia because to tie the clothes what they wore in the whole country then became a fashion. So this is just fabrication by some of the Muslims saying that tie is a sign of cross. It has no reality. Tie is not a sign of cross. It is a cultural dress, yes, worn by the Westerners. I specifically wear a suit and a tie because I want to be more comfortable with the non-Muslim. I'm a dai. So what I do, so that people should not think that I'm outdated, so I wear a suit and a tie, which is muba. You don't get any plus point for that. But at the same time, I'm wearing a cap, which is a sunnah. It's a sign of a Muslim. And I'm keeping a beard. My trousers are above the ankle. Normally, you never find people wearing suits with trousers above the ankle. So I'm doing the sunnah, I'm doing the farad also, keeping a beard, wearing the trousers above the ankle, I'm wearing the sunnah, the cap. So it's a blend. And many a time, you know, it may look like a joker. Oh, who's the joker looking person wearing a suit and a tie and a kofia and a, and a topi and a cap? So it, many a times people start, okay, let's listen to this person. So this is one of the ways to, to break the barriers, to open the doors for dawah. Oh, why are you wearing the cap? It's a way. So I wear it because I'm a dai. I personally don't like wearing a suit and a tie. So when you see me at home, I wear kurta pajama. When I go out, I wear pant and shirt. Most of the time when I wear suit, it's mainly for dawa purpose. If I'm giving a lecture in the audience or now, now in the studio, having the question and session. So non-Muslims, when they listen to me, there is no barrier of the dressing. But otherwise, wearing a suit and a tie, it's moba. But for me, because it helps me to break the barrier and doing dawa, that is the reason I wear a suit and a tie. Hope that answers the question.